On the tee from Scotland, Ewan Ferguson. Yeah, Ewan Ferguson, who led through uh, the first three days here a year ago at Muthaiga. He responded pretty well to that, though, didn't he? Yeah, he did. I mean, it was uh, quite a cat catastrophic last day that can leave scar tissue, but, you know, he breathed, breathed straight through it. God is when we know how capable this young man is. What a fine player. Yeah, just the two birdies, one bogey yesterday from you and Ferguson, but that's three very nice tee shots. Yeah, all in position. Just keeps going down that hill. Uh, just leaving with a wedge with nine iron to this front right pin here on one. But they've got to work pretty hard here, all on the edge of the cut. Hello, you. Not quite stellar form he showed us last year, Ferguson, but he's gradually easing into his game this season. Good time to do it, be this afternoon. He get round about three or four under today. He's right in the thick of this tournament. Good start here. Yeah, super sharp. Good start. A lovely start. Yeah, just got put off, didn't he? I'd like to see a nine iron. That, you know, they're so used to playing loft. I know we keep going on about it, sort of bore everybody at home about it, but I'd like to see a nine iron. You see, there's a lofty club, it's a 56 degree, it might have even been a lob wedge. Beautifully hold. I do love his padding stroke. 223 the fifth. Flag on the right. Tough to get to, but this altitude, 7 iron, 6 iron. And it looks a 7 iron. Yeah, there it is, 7 iron. 223, how about that? Pin high, long way from the flag, though. Evil, evil pin position, isn't it? <laughs> Up the slope for you and Ferguson. Ferguson, the wispy rough. Yeah, it's very unlikely you'll get a flyer out of that dry, crunchy grass, but not impossible. It's just a little bit of doubt in your mind, but he's played that very well. A little bit of break from the left. Go on. Oh, just didn't go. This is a very accessible pin. This got a backstop behind it, so if you can pitch a little bit fast, it should come down to the hole nicely. You played with Ewan? Yeah, Justin? We both have the same coach, so yeah, I spent oh. a lot of time with Ewan. A okay. lovely, lovely guy. I really enjoy spending time with him. Yeah, he really seems it. And, and uh, modestly confident, isn't he? Ewan <laughs> Ferguson. Hits it a club less than Adrian Nice just across the board. He's a, a big hitter, a powerful player, but this goes to show you how far Arnice does hit the ball. He's got a seven iron. And that pin tucked over on the right, there's two bunkers that pinch either side of this green. Oh, how about that? Fabulous shot from Ewan Ferguson. Struggled to make birdies, but... Give him one there. Now, Ferguson. It's that beautiful tee shot. Surely a tap in. Yeah, well done. Takes him to three under. He's looking up now, rather than looking over his shoulder. Ian Ferguson has found close to position A eh? down this fairway. And it's back into the breeze. He's got 160 to the flag which would be a pitching wedge, but I need to hit a little, a soft nine. That wind just picking up, but it's, it's not consistent, so kind of gusting around. Plenty of room to the right of this flag, short right. Fancy his chances of sneaking this one close. 
Oh, super shot from Ferguson. Tell him I'm not in. He's starting to get into the groove. Tilly Green. Putter needs to start working as well, and it does again. Back to back birdies for the Scott. Four under. And that's fine. Five behind. 183 yards. Playing more like 190 with that wind. He's got an eight iron. Well, he played a delicious tee shot at the uh, previous par three. Had another one right at it from Ferguson. Look, he's on a bit of a birdie run here, Ian Ferguson. He's got his eye dialed in. These beautiful greens. Quite a good spot that he's found here. It's down the slope. Tricky green to read this one, actually. But this should move a little bit from right to left. And as I say, it's down the slope, so it's going to be a... A quick putt, a tickly one, requires all the feel. So, oh, just dived a little left, but again, par three at 13, never a complaint, not to that flag. And Ewan Ferguson with his second shot. Difficult 14. Can he get it back there? He sank sit. Didn't need to. Good shot there from Ferguson. Good try there. That. that would have only been the third birdie today on this hole. Now to. Ian Ferguson opted for the layup as well. I was a little bit surprised at that. He had a good lie in the fairway back there, but just wanting to get home and dry, I think, at this stage. And with a wedge in the hand in the fairway, you've got a pretty good chance of still making your birdie. Has 81 yards to the front, pins on 23. Got to take it up and over this big bunker. There's a gap wedge in his hand. Super distance control. Ferguson for a birdie. So a little trickler down the left. Watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.